Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about Z fairs. Now there's a couple ways that you can get to Z fairs, and I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay. So you should be looking at the net, uh, the Arizona Historical Society's website. Remember we talked about how to get here. You go to azhs.org, Education, National History Day, right? Now there's a tab called Contests. You click on that. Now note, it does have our new contest on there this year, our new regional, which is gonna be our Southwestern Arizona regional, and that's gonna be Yuma and the surrounding areas down here. That's gonna be on February 10th. So you, you get to hang out with me down here in Yuma. Now, right here under Contests, I got all the Z Fair links right here. So you can just click on whichever one you need. This is the easiest way. And I'll also post them on Facebook so you can find them on there too. Another way you can do it is go to register.nhd.org slash contests and it shows you everybody's contest that does NHD. All right, that's a little overwhelming. But luckily we're up at the top right here where it says Arizona. Now I want you to pay attention. They're not in order by contest date. They're in order by... Um, the first letter so they're alphabetical so you just click on whichever one you need and it'll take you to this page right this is updated for this year has all the same information pretty much like just exactly how i had it last year it's just different colors really and the new dates so for example i'm doing the east valley competition it says right here that the registration fee is 35 dollars this year um all fees and projects are due to be submitted by Friday, February 4th at 8.59 p.m. Not sure what you need. I have a great document, and I shared this last year, about what you need to have to be considered registered. I'm not doing late registration this year. Um, so you need to make sure that you have at least created your account by February 4th, and then we'll go from there, okay? Because after February 4th, no new accounts, okay? Um, well, the only thing that's different this year is for documentaries. I need you to double check your Google Drive links because y'all sent me a bunch of dead links last year that I could not get to work and it was just, it was a lot. So make sure that you edit the sharing settings on your Google Drive links. YouTube is an option, but I don't recommend it because nationals will not accept a YouTube. Also, we're going to be showcasing documentaries at the contest this year. So you need to make sure that you have um, either your laptop or a zip drive with your documentary on it. That way we can just plug it in and you're good to go, okay? Make sure you're signing up for the rock contest because if you don't, you can get disqualified, right? Because we will make sure that we're doing this the fair way and everybody's going to the contest they're supposed to be going to. The one this affects the most is my East Valley and West Valley kids. If you're in Cave Creek, Fountain Hills, Tempe, any of those ones, you need to make sure that you're going to East Valley. If you're in Glendale, Peoria, Whitman, Buckeye, any of those cities over here in blue, Phoenix, you need to be going to West Valley, okay? Now, North is Flagstaff, South is Tucson, Southwest is Yuma. Does that mean you have to be from Flagstaff? No. And my other friends, go to whichever one that's closer. If, if East Valley is closer to you than Flagstaff, please, please go to the closest one. Um, but yeah. So it'll have all the important dates. Registration is opening up for everybody on January 1st at 8 a.m., but your closing dates are all gonna be different, okay? This does not mean wait until January 1st to start working on your project. You should be working on your project right now. Um, has a contest date. All awards are gonna be done at the contest. I just don't have times yet. It just depends on how many kiddos sign up, right? I got registration instructions, resources, and a bunch of other stuff down here at the bottom. Don't forget that we do office hours. So if you need help, let me know, okay? All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started on creating an account. So my first name is gonna be Bess. Second name is gonna be Kid. 
and then I'm going to type in my email. Please use an email that you have access to all the time. So if your school email only works at home, don't use that one. Make one just for this or something. Um, I gotta change the. You should be able to. Aha. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So you're going to fill in all your info. Make sure you confirm your email. Make sure it's the email you have access to at home. Okay. Then I'm going to look for student. Click student. As you can see, teacher, judge, volunteer, staff, admin. It just depends on your situation. It's going to ask you to verify your email. You're not going to have this option. Okay. Only I get this option because this is on the admin account, right? So we're, I'm gonna bypass it, but you need to confirm that you have access to my email. And then you're gonna need to do this. Please upload a profile picture if you can, um, just because when we do our showcase and stuff like that, we like to show your beautiful faces. If you don't want to, don't sweat it, it's not required. I need your first name, your last name, your email, your shirt size. Remember we do t-shirts for kids who make it to nationals. If you have a language that you would like to pick, go ahead, cool. Make sure you do a password. And then I need your mom and dad's first name. Or whoever, do mom or dad, it don't really matter. And then I need their email. If you need to use mom or dad's email to sign up, that it, it, it'll let you do that. Sometimes the teachers use their emails, but I prefer to have your parents' email. Then I need their phone numbers. This is just in case something happens and um, we need help. And then this is just in case we need to email stuff to you. There was some stuff that didn't get passed out last year, so we want to make sure that we have everything that we need. And then we're going to hit create profile. All right, then you're going to get this page, start a new entry or link an existing entry. If you're in a group, and someone in your group has already created an account, they should have what's known as a project key. And you need that project key in order to make sure that you are linked between you and your friend, okay? They're gonna have to give it to you, so be sure to ask. So because I don't have a friend, I'm gonna do hit start a new entry. I need to pick my school and who my teacher is. Like I said, if your teacher is not registered, it will not work for you. And you need to pick what grade you're in. Title. Now remember, whatever you put on here is exactly what I'm going to put on the schedule and all this other stuff. So please make sure that it's topped exactly how you want it and make sure that there's no grammar mistakes or anything like that. Like put it how you want it because that's what's going to happen. Does that make sense? All right. If you do not want to participate in the showcase, that is totally fine. You just click that little check mark, but you, you can and you don't have to, it don't matter. Remember, you can be in a group 
or an individual unless you're doing a paper. So I'm going to do individual documentary. Will your display need an electrical outlet? Probably not because I'm doing a documentary. If you want to give me a brief little description of your documentary, feel free to do that. Give me a judge time preference. Now, this does not mean that you are going to get exactly what you want because I can't help it. Sometimes there's a lot of you and we just do the best we can. But if you've got something going on and you need to be judged in the morning, email me, nhdaz at azhs.gov. And we'll make sure that you're in and out when you need to be. So pick your preference. If you're an early person, do that one. If you're not a morning person, do the late one. I would do a late one because I am not a morning person. Written materials. So remember, for a documentary, you need to do your process paper and your annotated bibliography. Oh. Um, but pretend I uploaded something. This is where you're going to put your link for your documentary. Please make sure I can open it. Okay, because if I cannot open it, we can't judge it. Is this a group project? No, because I did individual documentary. It says that I will charge you a late fee. I'm not charging you a late fee because I'm not doing late registration. Um, everything needs to be turned in by the fourth. That's it. Okay. Um, this says I understand that I got to pay registration fee. This is what's called a hold harmless agreement. This is just saying that if something happens, like you get hurt or your car gets hit in the parking lot or something like that, you're agreeing that you're not going to sue us because of it, okay? And then this right here is saying that we can take your picture. If you don't want me to take your picture, just hit no, okay? And then let me know why. Now, I need you to rem remember that there are a lot of people that go to these contests, and I cannot guarantee that I'm not going to photograph you. If you notice that one of us is around you with a camera, come up to us and just gently say, hey, I would not like, I would like you to not take my picture. And we're cool, okay? And then hit I read, save and continue, okay? This is where you're going to pay. Now, we got different options. If you're one of my friends that has a coupon code, you'll know who you are. You type in your coupon code. If you are not, you got options. You can pay by credit card. You can pay by check. Now, if you're paying by check, you need to make sure that you mail it to the Arizona History Museum. All that information is right here. Okay. And for this particular one, let me look at my calendar. It needs to be postmarked by the 17th, okay? And then school, if your school is paying for it, just hit that button, okay? So I'm gonna pretend that I'm paying by check. It'll say this order is still pending. Once I get your check, We'll go in, mark that you paid, and then you're good to go. This right here is saying that you are registered and good to go, and you should get an email confirming that you registered um, once you're good. Okay. So let me log in to this person so you can kind of see what the page is going to look like. So it'll tell you what you've got done. If it's yellow or red, that means you didn't do it, okay? So make sure that you do that. There's gonna be the showcase. It should ask you, yeah. So you can see everybody's projects. Contest information. Once we get some more information on like the schedule, where everything's gonna be, all this other stuff, that's gonna be here. Here's the rule book, the schedule. A little bit about us. Yeah, the judging criteria. It's pretty much been the same for the last three or four years. So if you've done this before, then you already know. And then if you want to shoot us an email, fill this out for me. Or you can just shoot me an email or give us a phone call. 
and then our little sponsors page. So this is everybody who's um, National History Day, University of Arizona, who's hosting the contest for us at their Chandler location. The Historical League donates a lot of money to us and they partner with us on a lot of events. So we really appreciate them. And then of course, NHDAZ is ran through the Arizona Historical Society. And that is pretty much it. The process is pretty much the same for teachers, judges, volunteers. It just asks you some different questions. So like for the teacher one, it'll ask if you're coming or not. You're not required to come, but if you do come, that would be cool. Just let us know. If you do come, maybe consider judging. We'll make sure that you're not judging your kids so you don't have to worry about that. Um, parents are allowed to judge um, as long as there's no conflict of interest. And then of course we have volunteers. If you just wanna help us take pictures, help us tear down, help us set up, just shoot us an email. Um, this will be recorded, put on our YouTube channel so you can come back to it whenever you want. The process is pretty much the same. So don't sweat it. If you've done it before, you've done it a million times, all right? And of course, if you got any questions, just shoot me an email and then I think we're good to go. I appreciate you all and I have you, hope you have a great one, okay? Bye.